is going to be PG IVM extension for rapid materialized view update by Yugo Nagata. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you to coming to this session. Uh, today, I would like to uh, talk about PG IVM. Uh, PZ IVM. Uh, PZ IVM is an uh, extension module that provides uh, incremental view maintenance feature for PostgreSQL. Uh, incremental view maintenance, uh, we call it IVM, is a uh, in short a way to make materialized view up to date uh, rapidly than uh, refresh command. And uh, I'm Yugo Nagata, uh, a software engineer and researcher at SROSS from Japan. And I'm in charge of R&D related to PostgreSQL. And uh, sometimes uh, I work for technical support of consulting service. And I'm a, a PostgreSQL contributor, so uh, I uh, make uh, some patches for bug fix and new features and patch review. And also, I'm an uh, author of PG IBM, today's topic. And then, uh, this is the outline of this presentation. Uh, first, I'll introduce what is incremental view maintenance. And, and then I introduce uh, PZ IBM. Uh, what is a PZ IBM and how to use it and how it works, in, uh, how it is implemented. And uh, next, I'll show some simple, so simple performance evaluation results. And uh, finally, I talk, I'll talk about uh, development of PGIVM and uh, some future plans. So uh, let's start about what is incremental view maintenance. Uh, incremental view, view maintenance is a, a way to update uh, materialized view. So firstly, I should uh, I have to uh, talk up, uh, explain materialized views. So uh, material view has a, a query definition query and the result is stored in the database. So uh, client, uh, it enables a rapid response for client uh, query. So uh, because, uh, yeah, since, well, because, uh, so our query differential query, uh, doesn't have to be executed. Just uh, uh, we can just return the uh, results stored in database. But so a uh, fair uh, table is modified. The contents of material view uh, gets stored. So there are inconsistence uh, between material view view definition and the uh, actual contents of the view. So we need to maintain our uh, contents of the view after table modification. Uh, so uh, PostgreSQL has a refresh materials view command. Uh, it can update the view contents by uh, executing the query Again, so it means it recomputes the view's content uh, from the latest uh, table state, but uh, it takes so uh, some long time because uh, we need to execute the query again. So, on the other hand, increment the view maintenance. Uh, it computes only the incremental changes from the uh, changes occurred in table and view definition and other table. And uh, by just applying these changes view to the view, uh, we can get the uh, up-to-date 
uh, view states. And this is the incremental view methods. Uh, this is a very simple example of uh, incremental view maintenance. Suppose there are two tables, uh, R and S, and so uh, the view is a natural join of these tables. And then, uh, so uh, table R is modified like this. Uh, so we can get the uh, changes of the table. This number R uh, means uh, uh, row, a row deleted from this table. And this delta R means a uh, row inserted in the table. So the update is uh, express, represented by this uh, delete and insert. And using this uh, change table, uh, by joining S and number R, or joining S and delta R, we can get delta uh, number V and delta V. This is a change that should be occurred in the view. So we can update the view by applying these changes, uh, deleting the rows in number V and inserts row in there is a way to the view. Uh, this is the update state of the view. Okay, uh, this is a uh, simple image of incremental view maintenance. So uh, next, I'll explain what is PGIVM. Uh, the so incremental view maintenance feature is not supported in the current PostgreSQL. Uh, so uh, several years ago, uh, I proposed a, a patch set to, in, uh, to implement this feature to the PostgreSQL core. Uh, so uh, this patch set is uh, now on discussion, so in the uh, committee's mailing list, but not yet uh, introduced. But uh, during the development of the patch, uh, I received some requests that I want to use a web feature in the current PostgreSQL. So, uh, so, uh, what, so I, so, I answer to that, uh, please apply the patch, but uh, so to use the IBM feature in the current PostgreSQL, uh, it is helpful to provide the uh, extension module. Uh, so we started to develop PGIBM to providing the feature as an extension module, not only patches. And also, uh, there are uh, other purposes. So one purpose is to improve opportunity to get feedback of IBM futures. Uh, so from this uh, feedback, I can, uh, I would be able to improve PG IBM and also the patch. And so maybe in future, if I end up, uh, post IBM future is introduced in PostgreSQL. Uh, IB, PZ, IBM, uh, this uh, extension module can provide more advanced future uh, that would not be supported in the PostgreSQL. So this is a, a, as a purpose of PG IBM. Okay. Uh, this, uh, I'll explain the overview of the PG IBM future. Using PG IBM, you can create incrementally maintainable materialized view, uh, we call it this IMMV. And, uh, IMV created by PG IBM is automatically updated and when uh, underlying best table is modified. 
So uh, this is an automatically update. So it is called immediate maintenance. Uh, specifically, uh, uh, after triggers are created on these base tables, and uh, view update is view is updated from uh, within these trigger functions. And all, of course, you don't have to write the trigger function by yourself. And uh, so uh, a view that would take uh, 20 seconds uh, to be refreshed can be updated in uh, 50 milliseconds, for example, using uh, the future. And PGI web is uh, currently compatible with PostgreSQL from 13 to uh, 17, the uh, latest version. Uh, so I, as I said, the, uh, initially the feature is proposed for the uh, PostgreSQL core. So there are some difference uh, between the uh, proposed for the core and PGI IBM. Uh, the patch set proposed to the core, uh, the IMMB view is implemented by uh, extending the core feature of materialized view. So this is a basically materialized view. So uh, the view can be created by such as this command, create incremental, incremental materialized view. Basically, create materialized view command. And so uh, the supported view is in a join and filtering aggregates uh, that is can sum uh, average, mean, and max, and distinct clause. On the other hand, uh, PG IBM's IMMV is implemented as a table uh, because uh, extension module cannot update the actual materials view. So uh, I decided to use a table as a uh, to implement uh, IMV in PG IBM. So uh, we don't use create materials view command. So uh, it is prepared. Uh, uh, create IMV function is provided to create uh, the view. And uh, PGIVM support more complex view in the view definition queries, including a simple subquery in from clause and CTE and like this clause uh, currently. Well, uh, so uh, this is a list of supported and not supported features in PGIBM. So uh, in a join, including self-join, distinct uh, built-in aggregate function, uh, count sum average mean and max, and simple subqueries in from close and CT and exist close is supported, but as an aggregate and uh, window function and country outer join is not supported. And uh, more complex subqueries containing uh, aggregate or distinct is not uh, supported either. And having all the limit of state in your intersect, uh, this uh, feature is not supported in the view definition. And uh, IMMBs cannot include as a view, as a materials view and person table and or a uh, foreign table. Okay, uh, next I'll explain how to use PGIBM. Uh, to uh, install this, uh, you can uh, install from source or from RPM package. Uh, source file it can be uh, downloaded from GitHub. And you also need Postgres source code or devil package and uh, just uh, run, make install. And uh, RPM package can be, uh, you can get the package from uh, Postgres system repository uh, servers. Well, uh, so, um, and, uh, 
to install PJVM, execute uh, create extension, and also uh, you uh, setting a shared uh, load library is necessary because PJVM has some hook functions. And uh, when uh, create extension is executed, this option, uh, all these objects are created. Uh, PGIBM IMV is a catalog table that stores uh, IMV information and uh, it functions for create and view, uh, refresh a view manually or uh, get a view definition of the view. So uh, create, to create IMB call create IMB function uh, uh, with a view name and a column list and view definition in a, a string uh, like this type. Uh, this uh, function corresponds to executing create material view command. And also this command create a unique index on the view automatically if possible. So as a result, so uh, the view is created. And the uh, entry for, for uh, uh, I mean, I view information is added to the PGIVM IMV catalog, including a view ID, view definition, and uh, is view weighted means this, uh, this view has a data or not data. The view definition can be checked using the view IMV def functions in a human readable style like this. This corresponds to PSQL's Bakashi uh, meta command. And uh, so this is a main feature of PGIVM. So when a base table is updated, the view is automatically updated. Uh, so, uh, for example, this uh, view definition, in, in the case of this view definition, uh, the difference of the matter view takes about uh, 20 seconds in my uh, environment, but uh, the update of the uh, up base table takes only 15 milliseconds. And also uh, the contents of view is updated automatically. Uh, you can uh, refresh the view manually uh, by calling refresh IMV function, uh, specifying the view name and the second, a uh, parameter is a boolean uh, that specifies if new data is generated. Uh, so this corresponds to the uh, with data or with no data option in refresh materials view commands. When a uh, true is specified, the view definition query is executed and the uh, view is populated and automatic update of the view is enabled. And uh, when false is specified, uh, the view's content is truncated and uh, automatic update is disabled. Uh, so uh, as I said uh, before, uh, the view is implemented as a table. So if you can, uh, if you see the table through the basically the dmeta command. Uh, this shows this is a table. But unlike the normal table, uh, this view IMV cannot be directly updated as the same as a uh, material view or possibly QL. If you try it, uh, such error is arised, uh, cannot change material view. Uh, and then, uh, Dropping the view, uh, uh, MMV, uh, you can use drop table command. Uh, so uh, the, this drops the uh, uh, view as a normal table, but also uh, entry in the PG IMV, IMV catalog is automatically, automatically deleted. Uh, so this is uh, 
Mm. So by by hook functions. Okay, this uh, uh, this is uh, how to use uh, the PGIVM. Uh, next section I'll uh, show that uh, how PGIVM works, uh, how implemented uh, PGIVM is. This is an overview of uh, incremental view maintenance. Uh, basically, we, we need three steps. First, first uh, when a table is modified, uh, we need extract changes in table. And then uh, we need to compute changes in view from these changes and tables and the view definition query. And uh, finally, uh, we need to apply this change to view. Uh, in PGIVM, uh, the table changes is extracted using after triggers and position tables. And uh, change in view is computed by rewriting the view definition query and execute it. And applying, applying these changes by executing SQL commands internal. And uh, let's show some details. So well, for extracting changes in table, uh, when a view is created after triggers, uh, are automatically created on all base tables. Uh, this is a statement level uh, after triggers for insert, delete, update, and truncate. And uh, once well, the changes in the view is extracted in the uh, after trigger function and also changes in the view is computed within it. The uh, changes in table is extracted as transition tables. This is a possible future and uh, there are two transition tables. Uh, each contains uh, read, uh, row deleted from the table and row inserted into the table. Uh, using the table, the view is maintained. So uh, for computing change in view, uh, we rewrite the view definition query. Uh, for example, uh, this is a view definition query. This is a simple view joining R and S. So uh, suppose that table R is modified and we get transition table of R. Uh, in this example, uh, this table contains rows inserted in R. And by uh, rewrite, rewriting this query, uh, uh, specifically uh, replacing this R table with a transition table. And the uh, result of the query is a rows to be inserted to the view. So we can get the changes in view like this. And uh, applying this change to the view execute by executing a scale internally. So I uh, use the read or insert for the reading row from the view or inserting into the view. And uh, also update is uh, used to uh, update, uh, modify, uh, maintain the uh, views with aggregate functions. So uh, we uh, in this timing, uh, the read or update is uh, executed. So for efficient maintenance, uh, an appropriate index is necessary on the view. Uh, so to uh, search, uh, look up the updated or deleted row efficiently. So uh, the index is automatically created at the view definition time, if possible. If possible means if the view contains uh, the primary key columns of the table, uh, we, uh, the index is created on the, this columns. Or if the view has group by cross, the uh, index is created on group key columns. 
Also, uh, for maintaining view with aggregate, uh, the update uh, uh, aggregate values in the view is updated by using aggregate results on table changes. So, for example, uh, this uh, method depends on the type of uh, aggregate functions. Well, for example, uh, count value in the view can be updated by uh, adding or subtracting the current uh, value uh, that is computed on the table changes. Uh, it is similar to some functions. For average functions, we need uh, compute both of them, count and sum, and, uh, and compute the new value using them. So uh, for uh, maintain the aggregate value correctly, we need some additional columns to be uh, created in the view. For example, uh, the number of right or number of rows in the whole, uh, whole view or uh, each groups. Uh, this is uh, called IBM count column is created automatically in the view. And also for average aggregate, the result of sum and count need to be created additionally. Uh, mean and max aggregate is uh, a bit more complicated. When, uh, for example, uh, uh, a row is inserted in the table, this is a, uh, a simple. So, uh, for example, uh, the mean value in the view is 10 and uh, 5, 15, 20 is inserted in the table. And uh, we can find some mean value of in the uh, table change is five. So uh, we can uh, we can decide the new mean value by uh, comparing them, and uh, uh, list one is selected. Uh, this is this is similar to max function, but uh, when uh, Rows are deleted from a table. Uh, the situation becomes a bit complicated. When existing mean or max value in the view should be deleted from the view. In this case, uh, we need to recompute the new value from the latest table. So maybe uh, so it's possible. It takes a, a long time to maintain the view with mean or max uh, aggregate functions. Uh, otherwise, uh, nothing to do with but uh, so uh, sometimes we need recomputing. Oops. And uh, so uh, for uh, maintain a view with distinct, uh, we need a, a counting column. Uh, so that stores the number of rows of each distinct row in automatically. Uh, 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 that stores the number of rows for each distinct row. Uh, the pen, the, uh, the count value is uh, becomes zero. Uh, the row can be removed. Uh, this is a way to maintain distinct uh, view. And when a base table is truncated, simply the view is also truncated. Uh, because uh, if any base table is empty, the contents of the view also must be empty. But this, there is an exception that if the view contains aggregate without group by, uh, in this case, the View always has only one row. So after base table is truncated, the view has a, uh, only one row. The value is no, not now. Okay. Uh, well, so more uh, this, this is a more complicated situation. Well, so there, uh, so. 
multiple table is modified simultaneously. This uh, situation is possible uh, if we're using updating cities, triggers, or foreign key one control right. Uh, and uh, self control in views shares the same situation because tables appearing in a query repeatedly can be regarded as a defined table with the same contents and uh, they uh, can be modified simultaneously. Uh, in this case, from uh, uh, some theoretical reason, uh, we need both pre-update and post-update set of tables. So uh, how to get pre-update state of table? So post-update state is available in after trigger uh, normally, but uh, to uh, get pre-update state of the table, we use snapshot, saved snapshot. Uh, specifically, uh, we save the current snapshot before the table is modified in before table, uh, before trigger. And uh, when scanning the table, use this special function I can be uh, visible in pre-state uh, in fair clause. This function returns true if this as uh, a uh, row is visible with a uh, even snapshot. Uh, so using this kind of function, uh, we can uh, get a pre-update state uh, table. And uh, we can handle this multiple uh, table uh, modification situation. OK. Uh, uh, next, I'll show some very simple performance uh, variation. It's a very simple one. Uh, using TPCH query. TPCH queries, uh, query one is uh, aggregate views on a large table. I use scale factor one so that uh, these tables are numbers of row uh, six million. And uh, when uh, we create a normal materialized view, uh, the same definition, uh, and uh, updating one row in a base table, right? Item takes only two min seconds. And uh, refresh of the materialized view takes uh, 11 seconds. Okay. On the other hand, uh, when we create a view using PGIVM. And the update on a row, uh, one row in the base table and also automatically update of the view takes uh, 20 min seconds. So uh, in in this case, uh, so normal refresh takes uh, 11 seconds and PGIVM uh, uh, in you can using PGIVM, it takes uh, 20 minutes seconds. So the view of the performance is about uh, 500x, more than 500x times faster. So, but, but so it depends on the view definition or uh, uh, so how ro which row is updated. So it depends on the situation, but in this case, uh, so a good uh, performance is shown like that. And uh, another query, uh, query number nine. This is a uh, aggregate view on six uh, joined tables. And so uh, the same definition views take to be refreshed uh, five seconds. Uh, but uh, using PGIVM update, uh, Base table and automatic update of view takes uh, 32 min seconds. So in this case, uh, more than uh, 150 times faster. So uh, as shown, the PGIVM can update the view uh, rapidly, more rapidly than refresh uh, in this situation. But uh, I have to say there is a trade-off, performance trade-off. 
uh, IMB can be updated more rapidly than refresh, but it affects the table update performance. So this PGIBM will would be uh, suitable uh, for use cases that the response time of table. Uh, response time of table update is not so critical, but the latest view state is required immediately. Uh, so uh, so uh, it affects the table update performance. So when you want to uh, insert a large data into the table, uh, it is recommended to disable automatic update of IMV by uh, executing a refresh. IMB command uh, specifying uh, force to second or right. And also, uh, it uh, is affected by performance with uh, concurrent transaction performance. So, when concurrent transaction update the view uh, concurrently, uh, an exclusive lock is acquired to avoid incons inconsistent results of view. Uh, specifically, in read commit isolation level, uh, one transaction will be awaited, but uh, in repeatable read isolation level, one transaction will be aborted. So uh, it also affects uh, uh, table performance, table update performance. Uh, lastly, I explain uh, uh, development of PGIBM in short. Well, PGIBM is developed on the GitHub, and so uh, the account is my company's name, but uh, the developer of PGIBM is IBM Development Group, so actually me, but, and, but uh, issues and pull requests are always so welcome. Uh, and license is possible SQL license. This is the Git Hub's uh, histories. So uh, initial release is uh, April in 2022, and uh, until now, until now there are ten releases. And uh, as of today, we get 1961 starts. So uh, not so rapidly and surely increasing. And uh, this is uh, as a future plan. Now I'm working on outer join support. Uh, outer join has a neural external tuple, uh, dangling tuple. Uh, this is uh, appearing uh, things of join conditions are not meet like this. So for maintain the outer join views, we need to handling this. So when uh, rows are inserted into the table, the angry tuple might be deleted. And uh, when a row is deleted from the table, the angry tuples might be uh, inserted to the view. So I uh, am now uh, checking the algorithm and implementation for this. And uh, as a plan, uh, I we would like to support a passion table in a view definition. Uh, it uh, we just started investi invest uh, investigating what could be problem when we want to support passion table. And there are another request from GitHub issues. For example, logical replication support and uh, deferred maintenance, not uh, immediate uh, maintenance. So that enables the refresh material view incrementally by the command and uh, aggregate uh, with group being said, cube and roll up and so on. Okay, uh, this summary, so PGIBM is an extension for implementing incremental view maintenance. And uh, so uh, base table is modified, view is automatically and incrementally updated. And uh, this is rapidly more than refresh, but there's a trade-off, uh, performance trade-off. And the 
is going on GitHub, so issue and projects are welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Now, time for questions. Hi, so I had a question about, um, you talked about this a little bit, the outer joins, your future plans, um, but the um, limited future support right now, it's the only, the inner joins and only certain aggregates and so on. And I was uh, curious that if I understand it correctly, uh, your approach, the reason for these limitations is really that you need to be able to identify the uh, records to uh, add and remove from the materialized view. Uh, and I was wondering if you had thought of, like in your example with the inner joins, you take the two tables R and S and compute the uh, record changes for the materialized view using R. Um, but I was wondering if you had thought about and maybe found that it wouldn't work to uh, calculate the changes for uh, both the R and S transition tables and use some sort of a row hash or something to identify the rows to be uh, modified in the view? I'm sorry, but uh, I couldn't catch the question okay. due to my language ability. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's complicated. I can just come up and talk uh, and let other people ask questions. Okay, but thank you. Thank you. I'm really happy to see progress on this. Thank you. So, any other questions, please? Hello. Uh, it seems a very interesting approach, the one that you are investigating. I'm I'm wondering if there are some academic uh, academic uh, studies on this, or other the databases did something. I mean, it seems like a uh, theory about. Wow. Wow. Well, well, well the question is about academic research. Yeah. I mean. You are now finding some aki or not aki way to make able to do the incremental processing, and I'm wondering if there are some academic studies on this. Uh, yeah, so it's not uh, Postgres related, no. So yeah, uh, yeah, there are many academic researches in this area. This uh, so very from uh, I think uh, 1980s uh, the. Uh, so, so this area is studied so long time. So I read some paper and uh, so I studied from the literature works and uh, implemented it. So I uh, noticed that you only support this. You have a RAM, YUM repo. So is uh, is Debian somehow more problematic or, or why? I mean, can we get a Debian package soon maybe? <laughs> Thank you. What? Debian package? Yeah, exactly. Debian, Debian packages. Yeah, repo. Uh, is <laughs> it upcoming? Debian package support? Uh, 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 Currently, uh, uh, we ourselves will not <laughs> create the packaging. So, uh, so um, RPM package is uh, provided from the PostgreSQL uh, official uh, repository, but uh, it is not our works. Okay. 
looks like looks like we're out of questions. So round of applause, please. Thank you.